Hello. Last lesson, I talked to you about implicit differentiation. I said I'll do a couple of more examples. So I'm taking a bit more of an example uh, like this. For example, let's say you had x squared plus y squared equal to 25. Find dy by dx and d squared y by dx squared at x equal to uh, yeah. yeah, 3 squared and 4 squared, yeah, at x equal to 4. Whenever you know value of x, find y, it might be useful. Normally I don't, but remember y squared when differentiated gives me 2y dy by dx. So therefore I need the y value. So x equal to 4, I get y squared plus 16 equal to 25. Y squared is 9, Y is plus minus 3. So I'll have two points, X equal to 4, Y equal to 3, or X equal to 4, Y equal to minus 3. Yeah. I need that. It says find the values of, I didn't write everything. So I do D by DX of that. Let's differentiate. I get x squared gives you 2x, y squared gives you 2y, but it's a y with respect to x, so dy by dx equal to 0. Or at this end, I can say dy by dx equal to minus x over y. So this one, dy by dx equal to minus x over y, this one, dy by dx equal to minus x over y. That was straightforward. Now suppose I want to do d squared over by dx squared. Yeah? So what I'll do is, I can use x over y, but it's going to be a bit of a problem, I think. Let us see if I get the same answers. I'm not too sure. Okay. So suppose I differentiate that d squared y by dx squared is equal to u over v. v squared is y squared. v is y. du by dx is minus 1. minus u is x or minus x. dv by dx is dy by dx. Yeah? So if you put x equal to 4, y equal to 3. Your d squared y by dx squared will be y is 3. y 3 times minus 1 minus minus 4 times what is dy by dx at 4 or 3? Minus 4 over 3. Minus 4 over 3 divided by y squared. 3 squared is 9. Let's simplify that. Minus 3. Minus and minus plus, plus the 3 and 3 cancels. No, there's no 3 to cancel. So minus and minus plus, plus and minus minus, 4 4 is 16 over 3 divided by 9. So what does it become? Minus 9 minus 16 is minus 25 by 27. Yeah. Okay, now let's, uh, similarly you can put x equal to 4 and y equal to minus 3 and see what happens. When x equal to 4, y equal to minus 3, dy by dx will be 4 over 3. So don't forget. Is that correct? My arithmetic correct? Minus 3 times minus 1, okay, minus 3. Minus minus x is minus minus 4 times dy by dx is minus 4 over 3. So minus and plus plus and minus minus 16 over 3, 3 is a 9, the 3 comes down, okay. x equal to 4, y equal to minus 3. 
So your d squared y by dx squared will be uh, <coughs> 3 times minus 3 times minus 1 minus minus x is minus 4 times d by dx is 4 over 3 divided by y squared is 9. It is 3 plus 16 over 3 over 9, which is 25 over 27. So, d squared y by dx squared equal to minus 25 by 27 or 25 by 27. Yeah. The only problem is dy by dx there. Okay. I don't know whether we should we could do it the other way. I'm not too sure. What would I get? I get two plus two y divided by dx plus two divided by dx times divided by dx. I might be able to get the answer. I'm not too sure. Doesn't matter. Okay. Or Sometimes they ask for, I have already done the tangent, I have already done the second derivative. The other thing is, find equations of tangents to the curve. To the curve x squared plus x minus xy plus y squared. x squared minus x square xy plus y squared is equal to 4, which are parallel to x plus y equal to 0. Ah. As usual, analyze. I want to find the equation of a tangent. To find the equation of a tangent, I should know a point. That means I should know a value of x and the corresponding value of y. And I should know the value of dy by dx. What do I have here? I know dy by dx because this is y equal to minus x. So you know dy by dx is minus 1. So I know the value of dy by dx. But I don't know anything about x and y. How do I find x and y? We use, remember I told you, use the information given in the question to find x and y. So let's differentiate this. I get 2x minus, it's a product. u is x, y gives you d by dx plus v is y, x gives you 1, y squared gives you 2y y gives you d by dx equal to 4 gives you 0. But you know d by dx is minus 1 because that is the gradient of the tangent. So, I get 2x minus x times minus 1 minus y plus 2y times minus 1 equals 0. 2x plus x is 3x minus 3y equal to 0, so you get y equal to x. That is not the equation of the tangent, that is just a relation between x and y. Put y equal to x here, what do I get? Remember, I need to find x and y. So, x squared minus xy plus y squared is 4. I know y is equal to x, so x squared minus x squared plus x squared equal to 4, so x equal to 2 x equal to minus 2, y equal to 2, y equal to minus 2. So, now I have point 2, 2 and then uh, easiest way will be, please, of course, gradient is minus 1. So, you can say y minus 2 equals minus 1 times x minus 2. Then, you can say point minus 2 minus 2 
gradient is minus 1. So, y plus 2 is equal to minus 1 times x plus 2. But think for a moment, a line parallel to x plus y equal to 0 is x plus y equal to k, isn't it? So, therefore, that would be x plus y equal to 4. Why? Because x is 2, y is 2. This one will be x plus y equal to minus 4. That is easier to do than think in terms of uh, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. You can do that, but in quotient geometry, we learned if two lines are parallel, ax plus by plus c equal to 0, ax plus by plus k equal to 0. The only difference is the constant k. So, I can call this as x plus y equal to k. I know x and y, so I can find k. Life is much easier, isn't it? I know. Good. Let me do just one more question and finish implicit differentiation. Okay. Let me see if I can get a question. I'm not too sure. Show that. No. I want to do stationary points. No, we have to go back. Stationary points, or I can say, why should I show that? Find stationary points on the curve x cube plus 3xy plus, oh sorry, x plus y whole squared, ah, it's a beautiful question, is equal to x plus 1 times y plus 1. If this question comes in the exam, it will be a nightmare for you people. We shall see, we shall see, we shall see. Now, stationary point. How do you find stationary points? dy by dx must be 0. Yeah? So, I need to differentiate. So, d by dx of x plus y, the whole squared is equal to d by dx of x plus 1 times y plus 1. Yeah? How do you differentiate this? <coughs> One way is expand x squared plus 2x squared plus y squared and then uh, uh, do 2x and then for 2x y you use product rule. For y squared you use implicit differentiation get a 2 and a half kilometer answer which is correct. But I would do this as onion rule. How do you find this? You find x and y first and then you square it. So, the reverse process differentiate the square and then differentiate inside. x gives you 1, y gives you dy by dx. I will tell you, look, it is 2x plus 2x dy by dx plus y plus 2y dy by dx which is the same thing you get when you expand and differentiate. I find this easier. Here, u and v. u is x plus 1. When you differentiate y plus 1, I get dy by dx. Plus, v is y plus 1. When you differentiate x plus 1, I get 1. Now, I am asked to find stationary points, correct? This where you have to use God given gift. Do not blindly do it. What do students do? Expand the bracket. 
make dy by dx subject, then equate it to 0, you equate the numerator to 0, get an equation y, put dy by dx is 0. You know dy by dx is 0, just use it. So, I get 2x plus 2y times 1 plus 0 equal to y plus 1. So, 2x plus 2y equal to y plus 1. So, 2x minus 1 equal to minus y. Correct? 2x minus 1 is minus y. Am I correct? I take 2y to the other side. I bring 1 this side. So, y equal to 1 minus 2x. Take this, put it into the equation. Use y equal to 1 minus 2x. I get x plus 1 minus 2x. The whole squared is equal to x plus 1 times 1 minus 2x plus 1. Isn't life much easier now? Yeah? Imagine yourself opening the brackets, collecting all dy by dx on one side, the x and y terms on the other side, and then making dy by dx the subject. You get a fraction, equal the numerator to 0, you might end up getting this. Let's do it this way, then I will perhaps try and show you. Okay? So this becomes uh, 1 minus x, the whole squared equal to 1 plus x times 1 minus 2x, sorry, 2 minus 2x. Open the brackets, 1 minus 2x. In fact, I can do it again, cleverer way. Look, you all know how to expand and simplify, but I will use God-given gift. Uh, can I rub this off because I don't need this? The only thing I need is, I have written there y equal to 1 minus 2x. Alright? And I know dy by dx is 0. Look, I have got 1 minus x the whole squared equal to 1 plus x times 2 minus 2x. My friends, 2 minus 2x has 1 minus x. And, okay, now this is another pitfall. Don't cancel 1 minus 2x because you are going to lose 1 minus x. Take everything to the left hand side. So 2 times 1 plus x times 1 minus x minus 1 minus x the squared equals 0. I can remove 1 minus x common factor. I get 2 times 1 plus x minus 1 minus x equal to 0. 1 minus x equal to 0. x equal to 1. y equal to minus 1. Here 2 plus 2x minus 1 plus x equal to 0. So, x equal to minus 1 over 3. y equal to 1 plus 2 over 3, which is 5 over 3. Life becomes much easier if you pause to think for a minute. Let me confirm I am right. Sometimes, you know, I commit blunders. The equation was, uh, uh, what was the equation? Uh, x plus y whole squared equal to 1 plus x times 1 plus y. x plus 1 times y plus 1. So, in place of y, I am writing 1 minus 2x. x plus 1 minus 2x whole squared equal to x plus 1 times 1 minus 2x plus 1 to 1 minus x. Yeah, that's okay. And uh, yeah, that's perfectly all right. So, therefore, your stationary points are. 1 minus 1 and minus 1 third 5 over 3. Simple. A bit of thinking. That's why you know, don't blindly expand and open your eyes. If your algebra, algebra skills, are, skills are very good, you will be able to do them like this and you save a lot of time. And that's what A level maths, that the difference between an A and an A sum. Most of you will get an A. But if you are looking at an A star, these shortcuts with, of course, not the silly errors which I commit, you will be able to do better. Okay. See you next lesson. Bye bye. Hello. I want to take this opportunity to propose a vote of thanks. I would like to thank Vivid Innovations Private Limited and Commerce Forum 
for uh, so generously giving up their uh, studio and the facilities and the services of their uh, technicians to record all these videos for free. I think that needs to be acknowledged and appreciated. Thank you very much. And my special thanks to Mr. Nitin Mahadevapa, Mr. Nishant Guruswami, and Mr. Sadan Kumar DN for all their help and assistance in getting these videos ready, uploaded, and launched. Thank you very much.